Hi, Facebook. <laughs> I'm not saying hi to you. <laughs> Nisha Ryan here, the line pretzel, and the pretzel dog coming to you live from my car. Okay, stop licking me. <laughs> she actually does more of this like boop than lick. Um, let me know if you can hear me. I have my phone propped up in my car right now, and hopefully this is transmitting okay. <laughs> so, here's the story. Do not bark. No, don't bark. The story is, um, that Robin had a job, um, in a nearby town, but not... Hi, Mavis. Let me know if you can hear me. So he had a job in a nearby town, but not in town. And so he had to get up at, I wanted this installation done of these new self checkouts at Sobeys. So he had to be here for 5 a.m. <laughs> so that means we left at 4 a.m. So I went with him. And so we're like working from the car today until he's done. Um, anytime this morning should be. So, um, <laughs> So we're just like hanging out, having some coffee in the car, working from the car a little bit. It's been a great morning. Um, but I just wanted to like have some ramblings about like what's been going on lately um, in my business and whatever. So I can't see any comments, but like let me know if you can hear us. Um, little Gabby's right here. Um, so here is like a huge thing that. I've noticed from like me a year ago being just a VA slinging my laptop to like what we're offering now and it's just so high level like it's so high level that I've had to make higher level packages to literally like fit my clients like right it's kind of blowing my mind like what we're doing right now from like super task orientated hourly only like a year ago um to now like the things we're doing for clients like the all-inclusive is crazy like we're doing all the content writing blogs we're doing video editing we're doing a website um podcast stuff we all the graphics the instagram like all the marketing um media kits like pitching to other areas like we're doing like so much and it kind of blows my mind of how far we've come what blows my mind more though is that like not only are we doing all these things is like we're keeping track of like all the different projects that people have going on or like the things that they'd like to make happen and we're implementing them and we're strategizing for them but we're also like doing these check-ins of Okay, so in order to make X happen, like, we need this, we need your feedback on this, we need these PDFs done, like, do you like the design, like, and I'm now at a point where I'm checking in with most of my clients, unless we have, like, a call that day or something, they're getting a voice message from me, like, you know, happy Monday, like, what's up, here's what is going on, what we need from you, and I was just like, whoa, that's project management, like it's project management for your business which is I guess kind of what an OBM does but like that's really what we've moved into because the people that we're working with are like a six and seven figure entrepreneurs who they have so much stuff going on right like all those things like literally people come to me okay this was a um someone who came to me over the weekend I was like I have nothing done I have no branding I need my website done. I um, I also need to start my podcast. I also need like back end admin support. And she's like, but I'm so busy with my clients. Like, I don't even know. Hi, Tim. I don't even know how I would like manage all these different people. And she's like, what I like about you is that you're just like a one-stop shop. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, we are. <laughs> We are because we have me, we have other people on our team, we have web developers, like we have a graphic designer, like it is like this whole thing and you aren't managing anything actually. I'm managing everything, um, including like what we need from you so that you can 
just manage you and your energy. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> but I didn't intentionally like come to this place of like, we're now just, you know, project managers and implementers and strategists. Like, what? <laughs> um, I didn't intentionally come to this place. It was literally just like this evolution. Does that make sense? Mm, so good. Um, cappuccino, my fave. It was just this evolution of like, um, I remember the first time a client said, okay, so what's happening on this? And I, and I didn't like, I just didn't follow up about it. This was like last year. And she was like, okay, so it's your job to like follow up and you'll know, like, as you work with me, you'll see that I like, I forget things. I go and stop. I go and stop. And so it's your job to follow in on stuff. And I'm like, whoa, that is my job. And that's, I think, how it all really started. Also, you know, if you're hiring, hiring a VA for a task, let's, I love the example of editing a podcast. So if you're hiring a VA for just editing, editing a podcast, they just have their eyes on that one thing. Let me edit this bitch and upload it to wherever. Anchor, Libsyn, Buzzsprout. <laughs> that's it, right? And, um excuse me, the packages and the methods in which we're operating now are very much like we're looking at the big picture. We're not looking at this one little task thing to get done so that you can get a little bit off your plate. It's like, it's everything. It's all in. It's CEO moves. And I just love that we're doing that. I just, and that's kind of, I didn't mean it. That's what my content has been surrounding the last little while is just how we moved unintentionally, but it happened and it's just been so beautiful and we're serving the most high level people. It's wonderful um, how it moved from um, looking at one thing, we're just doing this one thing right now, to like overarching everything and how all the pieces interming intermingle with each other. Like this, you know, lady who reached out to me as a potential client this weekend. Like, she was like, okay, well, like, I'm going to wait because, uh, you know, I just want to do the whole thing. And I'm like, hi, Melissa. <laughs> um, you don't have any branding yet. So the branding affects your website, which affects your podcast because you have to do podcast art, which affects, which affects, which affects. It's like this domino, right? But if you're in it, you're in your business, you're just putting out fires, you can't see that. So I'm like, actually, here's what I would recommend. I love you. <laughs> I can see a comment. Amazing. Amazing. I was like, somebody let me know. You can hear me okay. <laughs> um, if you're just like in your business so much, you can't see your vision anymore. And that I'm kind of like rambling this morning and that's okay because we're just like, waiting for Robin slash working in the car um, is when you're so much in your business and you're spending all your time putting out fires to like just get your deliverables or just get to the client calls like or just 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 right you can't actually see what you're going what you're going where you're going or what you're doing like it's you're just living day to day you're just like trying to keep the friggin e equilibrium you're not actually thriving right and when i i've been seeing a lot of this um in people that are coming on as new clients is like or or they're asking me about stuff um oh i sound fabulous well thank you <laughs> um they're asking me about stuff they're asking they they are completely burnt out or like on the verge of just like what's my name um and they're just like putting out fire after fire they are doing all this stuff for their clients but they're unable to like even do their own marketing because they just don't have the actual time um and that's what I'm seeing a lot of and when when I mean, I felt like it was such a cliche, but when you're doing that, you're so much in your business, you can't even see like what's happening. Like you can't see outside. Um, 
you're so disconnected from your vision when you do that. And like, this was me like literally a month and a half ago. I'm not even kidding. You can come out of it really quickly. And it just takes really some tweaks, especially when you're already at a high level, you're already at or close to five figures and you want to scale more. It's really just like those little tweaks, energy tweaks, boundary tweaks, support tweaks hello you need a pretzel um to really help you like get on board right like get on board with your energy get on board and in alignment with a higher income right like this is what happens is like grow 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 i'm growing so fast it's amazing it's amazing and then you kind of just like stop and you don't mean to stop um but you do because your energy doesn't allow the room for the rest of it to come in so and because you're so in your business and you're so high sherry you're so just like toned in and tuned in on like just fixing like this thing just doing this thing like just getting the task done that you can't actually see that you're like wait why am i doing this again like didn't i have a purpose didn't i have a vision for this like well what do i really want the key like um flag for me when I was going through this was like somebody asked like where do you see like the line pretzel ink in five years and I'm like oh my god I don't know thank you so much for the heart shares you're amazing I have no idea because I was so much in my business that I was so disconnected from everything else and I was just like wait a minute <laughs> and it actually didn't take that long to reconnect to it but it did take like, hey, let me, I need to feel into this and I need to like realize that I'm way too up into my business and I'm not enough outside looking, strategizing, planning, where is this going to go? Like you don't need to micromanage every single little step. The other thing that I really see when people are kind of in this rut, oh, thank you, I'm glad. <laughs> um, in this rut is they have support they don't have aligned support um so they have some support on their team and it's like it's not the turnaround that they need or they're not available the hours that they need or they are from a different country and they just don't have the tech skills um and they generally just kind of keep them on because they just don't know what else to do or they don't want to be a mean person um, and it's not actually helping your business <laughs> it's actually hurting your business because you're like okay I'm supported everything's great and it's like but actually stuff isn't getting done so uh, okay so you take on more like you should not have like three or four different kinds of support in your business um, like and recently and then still be like working 24-7 like that's not a line support <laughs> there's you can do better right and like I think there's this well I have to settle for x because that's the support I can afford right now or that's the support I can get right now or I ask too much or whatever and I'm telling you from experience your support gets to be a whole body 10 out of 10 like nothing less in all the areas of your life but like, yeah, you get to have the support you want with the kind of vibe you want, with the kind of person you want, uh, with the kind of rate you want. Um, and it's really just you feeling into that and believing that. Um, I think I've kind of rambled on enough about that. Hi, Amy. <laughs> um, but those are kind of like the trends that I'm seeing right now. And I'm just seeing us move into the, like this whole project management status. I need gas. This whole project management status, um, support, no barking. <laughs> um, do you guys know Gabby? Um, and it's just so beautiful and I'm just so grateful that we get to do it. Like, it's just so amazing. Um, and I'm just blown away by our progress and, uh, and our organization. It's so good. Okay. So I am actually going to get my work day started. Um, well, I already worked a little today. I already checked in with all the clients. <laughs> um, so if you have questions about our services, we do have a couple spots open right now. Um, 
based on what I'm seeing on people's requests and, and messages coming in through the inbox, etc., it's probably not going to last very long. Um, <laughs> and then we'll take a pause and then we'll, you know, bring on some some more aligned support and then we'll open it up again um, in a few months probably. But yeah, it's been pretty amazing and I'm really, really grateful. Um, so if you have questions about our support, you can feel free to send me a message. There's also all of our packages are on our website, www.thealignedpretzel.co. Um, and if you wanna jump to that, it's .co slash services. And I just hope you guys have the most amazing day. I've just enjoyed just chatting about like the evolution of the line pretzel. And um, we're gonna work on our laptops. I'm loving this digital nomading again. This is beautiful. I thought I had this whole story. That's another thing. I had this whole story that VAs could not digital, digital nomad. That's another live for another day. Um, so that's it. And Thanks for tuning in and let me know you can hear me. And I can't wait to uh, talk to you guys again real soon. Gabby also says bye. Bye. Bye, pretzel dog. <laughs>